Alright guys, do we want to talk about- do we want to cap off the show with some light wave? Oh, yeah. I need oh, to yeah. talk about light wave. Look, I will say this, alright? I don't hate Glink or anything like that. <laughs> Me fact, neither. Glink's been very nice to me. That being said, I have to talk about this event. You just had too many it, shrooms, I think. It seems like a shit show, dude. Like, actually, though. Like, look at this right here. So, oh, Light yeah. Wave was an event that Glink hosted that had many big promises that was going to, I guess, own VidCon. He did this on the same week as VidCon. His audience, on the other hand, despised it. And you're gonna see why exactly they did. But first, let's just take a look at this. Yeah, let's just, like, soak it in real quick. There is a, a move. Movement is brewing. Evolution upon us. An unseen movement of artists, oh, creatives, and engineers brewing in the shadows, the far corners of the internet. On their own, these individuals are creating great content. But together, these beacons of light can form a wave. And they will blossom into something beautiful, something that can be shown to the world. If only, if only it had a stage. Light wave is that stage. Panels, parties, performances. performances. Through the power of the internet. Coming to you live through the power of the internet. Boogie. Boogie2988. He's going to be there. Boogie's going to be there. Okay. Working for the FBI. Like, I don't like these people on screen either, but what? Oh, light, light or wave. You got the name wrong, Augie. It's At L I G H R. Oh. What the fuck is Rothkin? I don't know. What is this? That's it for the trailer. Now, the first issue is that they don't say where it is or at what time. They just say the date in Austin, Texas. And if Whoa. you go into the description, there's no info except for the Twitter, which doesn't have any info, which links to the Instagram, which Wait, doesn't have any info. But there's a link on the Instagram that's unclickable that then gives you the info. What the fuck is this? Dude, there's so much wrong with the trailer. First of all, the music, the, the audio mixing, the footage, the fact that it looks like shit. What is the FBI segment here? Why is like... Why does yeah, he FBI? stop talking just to announce Boogie? Also, why is like Wang and Destiny shown here, but neither of them were going? Why was Destiny announced Boogie as a guest? Boogie didn't come either. Yeah, Boogie didn't go either. Boogie said he had no idea what this fucking event even was. Like, there's just so much about this event that just does not make any fucking sense. Look at the comments, right? I miss when you gave out deodorant to Smash players. I don't really know how to feel about this, Glink. I'm interested to see Internet Historian cover this in two years. I'm still sub to you to watch your descent into to madness. This 100% has got to be a joke. Starting off with the revolution is happening and manic strutting, but I'm also kind of scared it's not. Honestly, I'm glad most people are realizing the sad descent of Glink and how much he's changed within the last few years. Like, all of the comments are like, dude, you're crazy. Yeah. You've changed. You're like, insane now. What is this event? What is this trailer? This doesn't make any fucking sense. Why? So this event was being marketed as like a great meeting of intellectual minds where mm -hmm. a revolution would form, right? A movement yes. would brew. Do you know who one of the intellectual minds was that actually no. did show up? I actually don't know who showed up besides him. Ice Poseidon. Oh. <laughs> Super, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> Is so he, he pops Bitcoin into the there? chat while this is streaming to 90 viewers. Ice beside is just like, dude, dude, the open bar is gonna be lit, bro. He's gonna be the only one there. It's just free beer for him. Like, what is going on here? Like, what is this, right? So, fortunately for us, you know, Nick Diorio, I said I don't hate Glink at all. Nick does hate Glink. So he covered the entire fucking situation. Look at some of these clips right here. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Glink's event, Destiny I bailed, thought, lol. When I first saw that, I thought it was a meme, but that's actually a screenshot from the event. Yeah. I thought it was a meme. There's so many chairs. Why? This is like... Like, and, and this is an hour into the event. What the fuck? There's, there's no way he thought that many people were coming. What the fuck? Apparently, Glink hosted an eight-hour event that bombed tremendously. What the fuck am I watching? The amount of money spent on this, too. Well, this is the part I'm confused about. Did he expect a big turnout? Like, it, 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 is he crazy? I don't know. Blink. Yeah, because... There's multiple reasons why there wouldn't be a big turnout. Number one, it's the same week as VidCon. But number two, as I said earlier, there's no, even if people wanted to go, it's like very hard to find exactly like where to get the tickets and where the info well, it's is. it's not just that, but Link, like, Link doesn't have that kind of following that would like- And that this. too, yeah. 
That's the third thing. If this was happening any other week and he like wanted me to go, I'm not even joking with you. I probably would have fucking gone. Cause why not? Why not? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. but it was also at an, at a time when like not even just like people were busy, but they couldn't go to this even if they wanted to. Like I was thinking, cause people all week before this event even took place were saying that this event was gonna be a shit show. Everybody privately was talking about how like insane this was, right? So yeah. while I was at VidCon, I was thinking, I'm like, well, I'm getting back home. Austin, Texas is like three and a half hour drive for me. That's nothing. Three and a half hours is nothing for me. So I would totally go there. The problem is I got back home Monday night. That was the last day of the second day that didn't happen of the convention because it was going to be two days long, but they only streamed the first day. And as far as I know, the second day just didn't take place. I think the second day was supposed to be like parties and shit, but obviously you uh, can't have a party without people, right? No, Jesus. no offense. I'm, I'm not trying to like roast. <laughs> I mean, logically saying, speaking, like, yeah. I mean, you would like, need people for a party, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, Look at this shit right here. Uh, let me show this. And also, where are the performances? Yeah, wasn't there supposed to be like big like performances based on the footage he showed for the trailer? Like fucking yeah. people waving like fire wands and shit. This is a clip from another stream here of people talking about it. security for destiny who didn't go didn't and show never up. even planned and to also go. even if he did show up would he need extra security I, well destiny actually i think it's in the comment right here Desi was talking about it on his website. Maybe going schizo, how old is he? Dude, I wonder if Glink is like, there's no way he bid 15K for security for me. How ironic, I've never asked for security before. Yeah, like I don't think he needs security. Like that's not just to Destiny, it's just like, yeah. I don't think he needs it. He's not Mr. Beast, like Mr. Beast needs security. God, that's someone who would so need security, wild, not Destiny. Apparently this entire event was planned on a three week psychedelic binge. People are estimating he blew 10 to 30K. The culmination of my life's work for the past three months is about to be brought to the light. Oh, this hurts. Dude, this is painful. If he wasn't like high on shrooms and wanted to pull off an event like this, I think if he like downscaled it and did it at a time where it wasn't at VidCon and properly like promoted it where people actually could like properly sign up for it, I think it could have been a decent little event. You know, obviously it wouldn't like rock the world or anything, but just the way he went about this, it's just so, it's unfortunate, really. It seems like a big ego thing for him. Like he needs to sort of like, uh, I guess like establish like an event like he wants to like rebuild like ancient Rome or something weird like what? gather like a great like group of like great minds and thinkers to discuss things and it's the culmination of his life's work like this is going to launch some sort of movement or something I, I don't know like at least that the branding for it is incredibly egotistical that's what I'm saying right like yeah I know right it could have been like a fun little event you know like retro palooza yeah, by the, uh, people are saying guys. like Fousey tube yeah exactly you oh know my the god dude he sounds exactly like Fousey tube now I think yes. about it. But yeah, I was saying like this could have worked, you know, like the retro palooza convention by like uh, a couple small YouTubers. That's worked out pretty well, you know, since Boogies 2013, went to it. been there to yeah. every single one. Yeah, it's just a nice, fun little event. You know, it's not egotistical. Game chasers aren't acting like they're changing the world or like they're the next PAX East or something. But yeah. you know, it's a fun little event. I think with the right planning, Glink could have also made like a little mini VidCon, like a little fun thing for people to go to in between VidCon, maybe in like October or something. Thing, but I don't know. He just, he fucked it up in so many ways. It's just unfortunate. Boogie made a video. Somebody just asked me if I was really going to be at a convention called Lightwave ATX. It's been two weeks and this is literally the first time I've heard about it. So just false advertising? Like, yeah, literally false advertising. I don't know what's up with that. That's really weird. What is Lightwave? Everybody wants to know. What is Lightwave? Everybody wants to know. Well, first, let me tell you what it's not. This is not a corporate event. This is not a political event. We're not selling tickets. We're not, I'm not making money off this. No one's really making money off this. 
Um, Actually losing quite a bit. The reason for this event, a political event, then why do you invite Destiny? Isn't he known for politics? Wasn't there like a debate panel on the stream? I don't know. Um, is to fill a void that has been missing Mickey from Mouse our culture or society for a while. Skip over yeah, yeah. Modern Rome. <laughs> exactly. See? Wait, modern Rome? Whoa, whoa. And yeah, then we wait, got a picture of the of his Coliseum mind. there. Modern day Rome. That's what we live in. But we're missing our public forum. We don't have the place where the intellectuals, the philosophers, <laughs> the artists, <laughs> Where they can Wait, gather, what? share you, you can upload better, to YouTube. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are like, living in modern Rome, and there is no public uh, forum. You can make a YouTube, make a video, make a Twitter. Make, like, you can, like, talk to people online. It's probably more open and more public forum now than it ever was back in Rome. Like, what? you a corporation breathing down their neck or some sort of political mob getting angry at them. Uh, we need what? a direct channel. Of people's thoughts. Wait, is this just like a place where we can say the N word freely? I hope so. I would go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, N word con. Yeah, dude, I would go to that. <laughs> Fuck that. N word con. So, do you guys where see what white I mean? People can be free. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys see what I mean when I when I say like uh, the egotistical branding of it, like. Yeah, I don't know, man. I hope he gets better. I hope Glint gets better, man. Oh God, the DJ. <sighs> Exciting. Woo! Is are these the live performances? Let's flipping yeah. go. Let's fucking go, dude. Uh, the Airbnb party that. Tom wasn't supposed to have had a bigger show up, dude. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Tro's fucking party was pop. Tro's Airbnb that wasn't supposed to have a party. Yeah, how many people? More than light wave, we got like we 25 like, like, people in that house. Yeah, yeah, dude, 25, maybe dude, 30, maybe 30. It was basically modern Rome in there, honestly, it, dude. Nah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> that was an awesome party, dude, that okay? Was that was an excellent, Rome, that was an excellent Maybe party. more like the barbarians or something. I don't know, but, you know, either way, you know, modern Rome. I like modern Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mudahar is sick. I really wish I was in Texas right Holy now. Holy that's so brutal, dude. That's so brutal. It's funny, though. Liar wave. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I didn't mean, even say specifically where it was. Listen, he just said uh, Austin, Texas. Imagine you're like a Glink fan and you're just like going around Austin, Texas, like asking people where Lightwave is. Dude. Listen, if Lightwave 2 happens, I will 1 million percent go to that. Oh, true. Right? If Absolutely. it doesn't overlap with VidCon again. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if it doesn't overlap with anything, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, I support the uh, spirit behind it, right? Like just the whole like, let's have a group of people. Well, I think some of the spirit's a little egotistical. But yeah, it's like, yeah. I like I don't know. like this though. I like I the know. idea. That's... I like people doing their own thing, but uh, yeah. the false advertising, the schizo marketing, the disaster that took place, it's just weird. Mostly, honestly, I think the worst part is just the announcing of guests that aren't even there. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the worst part, because at that point, like, if it's like a, a event with a small turnout, fine, but like, if you lie about guests, that's when you actually get people mad, right? Especially, what if people actually did go to that and like expected those guests to be there? Now, obviously, nobody did, mm -hmm. but if they did, like, what the fuck, man? People in chat are saying, Augie, we all know you're not gonna go. Why would I not? It's like three and a half hours away, and it's like a giant fucking meme. Like, it seems either way. Like, it's I would I would have gone to this to one. Together. I would have gone to this one if I wasn't in Cali at the time. So, yeah. Drake's coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, Drake's oh my coming. god. Somebody needs to make <laughs> a fucking... But his Drake is destiny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're gonna lie to make about a someone being there at least. Fousey and, and Glink. Yeah, if you're gonna lie about someone being there, at least make it someone like interesting, like Donald Trump or something. Trump or, will be not, there. Not, yeah. not fucking Destiny, dude. Like, what? No offense. That is fucking. RFC After Hours is a live trending issues and entertainment broadcast with co host Bo Blacks, broadcasted every weekday, Monday through Friday, starting at 6 30 p.m. Central. The show is for entertainment purposes only. All chat messages and donations read are the words of the original messenger, and certain viewpoints expressed do not reflect that of myself or Boblack.